the 2023 Division I Men's Tennis in National Indoor Championships in terms of the draw has been set. And I'm going to start left to right, which I'm going to put the schedule in down below in, in a link, which they show. The, the matches start on Friday, while the championship is on that Monday. Of course, if you get to the championship, four matches in four days. You, everyone's guaranteed three matches. The number one seed in all this is Ohio State. They take on 16th seed Illinois, which Illinois is not even in the top 25, by the way. So... The 8th seed, Texas, will take on Wake Forest. That's a ninth seed. The 5th seed, Virginia, plays Tennessee. Number 12 seed, Tennessee at that. The 4th seed, Michigan, takes on Stanford. That's the 13th seed. Now to the 3th seed, which is on the other side of the bracket. They, the 3th seed, TCU, takes on number 14 seed, Baylor. The 6th seed, South Carolina. Ver will take on the 11 seed Georgia. The 7 seed USC takes on the 10 seed North Carolina. The 15 seed Florida will take on number two seed Kentucky. I don't think they got the draw. I mean the top eight seeds wrong here. I don't. You could debate on Wake Forest and Texas, but it makes sense to me. It's just these matchups are just crazy I mean first of all TCU and Baylor they just met a little over a week ago that's an intriguing match of course SEC versus SC, SEC twice actually Georgia and South Carolina and Florida and Kentucky interesting of course A versus 9 is so debatable and it's going to be close and remember, Virginia just played Tennessee in the semifinals last year where they won 5-0. So, there's a lot of intriguing matchups. And to me, the favorites, to me, in my opinion, are Ohio State, of course, but a one seed. I would say Michigan's in that category, too, which those two could very well meet in the champ is uh, not championship but the final four match and they are going to get the already going to get to play them in the regular season not once as a conference but twice one's a non-con second is a conference and baylor gets to play tcu two times within like nine days and they're going to play them a conference play obviously and it's even on the road so they're going to face tcu three times this year of course, the same thing goes for the SEC matchups, where they'll face each other at least twice. So, that's a lot of intriguing matchups. We have to wait and see on what happens. And it's in Chicago, Illinois, where Illinois is hosting. There will be live scores and, and live stream. The first matches will start at 9 a.m. Central Time for the TCU and South Carolina matches. And of course, it's like 30 minutes later for both. And a, and, a, and the thing is, they have 12 courts in Illinois, Chicago. So one through six is for the right side, it looks like. While the left side is going to just be... Wait a minute. It's it's not like all, that, all right sides, one certain courts and the other is not. TCU and Baylor are going to be courts 1 through 6. South Carolina and Georgia, 7 through 12. Kentucky match is 1 through 6. USC, 7 through 12. Michigan match, 1 through 6. Virginia match, 7 through 12. Ohio State, courts 1 through 6. And te Texas is 7 through 12. And of course, we it is to be determined from there. I just want to update on this. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's give me five subscribers. We're on the road to it. Let's go.